In this video, I'm going to show you how you can put your logo or any kind of text on any surface using Affinity Photo. It's KJ Designs and we are here in Affinity Photo. So this is the wall that we want where we're going to place our logo so that it blends in into the wall that we have. So the first thing we are going to import our logo into Affinity Photo for this case. I'm going to use the YouTube logo. I already imported it. Um, I'm going to add text. A title for the logo of course the logo has to be with a title so I'm going to select T um, give it a title for this case um, let me use this make sure to read it very well yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button by the way um, um, give it a font um, let me see Um, yeah, so this is our logo. Now the next thing we have to restoralize our logo so that it's a pixelated layer. But before we do that, make sure that the logo you pixelate, you restoralize has is of one layer. So for this case, I'm going to group the logo plus the title. I'm going to make it one group. And then after restorize it, make sure that what you're restorizing is a one layer thing, like a one layer thing, like as you see this logo of mine, I've grouped it. It's under one layer. So right click, come here to layers and right click your layer and then click on restorize. It's now a pixel under one layer. It's now a one thing as you're seeing. Now the next step is applying the blend ranges into our, our pixelated logo. So come into the layers panel where you see this icon, like it's a settings, but it's a settings icon. It shows blend ranges, of course, click on it. Now this is the tab that you'll be given. Now we are going to play with these underlying composition ranges as we are blending our logo. So come select this right point of this under the underlying underlying composition ranges move it down hope you're seeing what is happening to our logo the, the opacity is reducing basing on the highlights of the of the brick of the brick background that we have so come also put this down move it down now the old logo is now hidden so to reveal it um create a point in the mid in the middle here then pull it up now you can close so hope you can see the changes like the logo is kind of blended hard it has really blended into the bricks the brick background that we have but as you're seeing the outlines of the logo are very sharp it's like this wall is just put on the background without without anything it's just put there so the next this to make to make it look more beautiful um we are going to apply a live filter so make sure that it's the logo that is selected um come to filters come to layer sorry layer select new life filter layer distort and then displacement so we are going to apply a, displace, a displacement filter onto our logo make sure that you click on load from beneath from the layers that are beneath um after doing that you see now that the outlines of our logo have really changed it's like now it was really really painted or blended very well into our our wall so make sure that you play with this strength if you over if you over increase this you notify that our logo almost disappears 
so you don't need to use the high values just use some small values like let me say like four for this case i'm going to use let me first with five um five five yeah five is not bad i'm going to use five then you can close hope you have noticed what has happened it's like the blend ranges are no longer seen it's only the the new filter that we have applied so to reveal it back to reveal back our our blend ranges you have to restoralize again because when you come here at the blend ranges as you have selected the other logo it shows that the blend ranges are still there but here they are not shown so what you have to do after applying a filter restoralize again so right click then click on restoralize now you can see that now it's looking good very well blended onto the surface so guys thank you for watching this video up to the end don't forget to hit that like button as well as subscribing as you're turning on that notification bell so that you can get notified whenever i make a new upload stay blessed guys i love you